what's up fam how are you doing welcome to my youtube channel if it's your first time here thank you so much for coming if it's your second time or maybe your third time or maybe you've been a member of this channel ever since i started just know that i really do appreciate you we are only left with 100 people to reach 5,000 subscribers and please your help is really needed over here like i need to get to that 5,000 mark this year and i don't want to cross the year with less than 5,000 subscribers so if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed to my channel you know what you need to do just subscribe to this channel join this amazing family i know you won't regret a thing yeah so good people again as i said in my last i think it was my last video that i like trying out different locations i've done a video over here before so it is not new but it's a different location yes <laughs> right now i'm shooting this in my living room and the screen is right there there's uh, netflix stuff going on on the screen right i think you can even see some logo over there for netflix so i'm just wondering what are you currently watching like on this video i'd love to talk about maybe what you guys are watching recommend to you maybe a few uh series that you can watch maybe movie happen a pale then i also want to comment on the books because i have some books that i'm currently reading over here and then also i'm going to talk to you guys about why it's important to read like some of the importance or benefits of reading like reading books yes because it's something that i've been struggling with this year like i've not i can't say that i was busy but still you can't be busy too you have to create time for something that is important to you so it's something i'm gonna talk about sorry cuddles <laughs> yeah so anyway i have also my youtube book right here grow with google yes i have it right here so first things first what are you currently watching like what are you watching would you recommend something to me like if it's on netflix if it's on showmax or dst whichever just recommend i'll figure out how to find wherever the ones that i don't have logins in i'll figure out how to get it to get it and watch it i feel like there's a lot that you can watch on netflix because they brought so many so many stuff and the first one i would recommend <laughs> is um there's one that i watched which has like 39 episodes that's high heat so if you're the kind of person who love thriller movies not movie but series like you're left on your at the edge of your seat you know when you're watching if you want to feel like that high heat is something that you can watch there's another one and high heat is so nice by the way guys like i think i watched it within it was either um i watched it on saturday and then finished it on sunday so if you're that kind of person who loves watching these things if you're going to watch high heat please watch it during the weekend when you know you have time like during your weekend when you know you don't have you don't have to go up and up early, but yeah or maybe you can be watching it every day when you get back home uh from your daily activities you can watch it it's really really nice when i enjoyed it so there's the marked hat which i also feel is really really nice it's something it's on netflix you can watch it i enjoyed it and i think you might enjoy it as well it's more like high heat like the it's more of you know the thriller kind of series and then also there's uh there's this one there's this one from scratch from scratch i think it made me cry a lot for those who've not watched it by the all these things that i'm recommending over here are for those who've not watched at all then there is from scratch so it was really really nice as well it was too emotional but yeah if you're those kind of if you're in that mood you want to watch something that will make you cry that's the one <laughs> yeah i do i do that sometimes and then like i watch stuff that will make me cry and it's okay a girl can cry sometimes and then also something else that i've watched oh yeah love is blind season three. Oh my god but i still feel like anyway i'm not going to give my comments over here for those who've not watched it like you just need to go and watch if you haven't watched season one for love is blind you can start with season one go season two then season three but i still feel up to date that love is blind season one was the best like in terms of i feel like it was more real like i just feel like it was really really nice compared to the ones that we've been watching lately so anyway there's that i don't know if there's any other thing that i would recommend oh right now of course in nairobi i mean i don't think it's nairobi only but yeah um wakanda is out i didn't watch black panther back then so i had to watch the previous one for me to be able to watch the new one and i haven't watched the new one by the way so i'm seeing Aribie. and this one i have to go to the cinema i hope they'll still be showing next week it's something that i'm going to do and just enjoy you know and uh, movies 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 
I'm not usually a movie person per se, like I rarely watch movies, but when I do, maybe it's on Sunday afternoon after church. Oh guys, by the way, I went to church like after a very long time of break, like I, the last time I went to church was in 2020, like physical church, leave the one that I used to do in the house, like the one of praying and worshiping in the house every Sunday. But now this time around, I went to my physical church, that's International Christian Center in Nairobi West. Anyway, we can go to the book. So currently I got this book called the girl with the louding voice and uh, here you're able to see right right the girl with the louding voice so this one i need to read it like immediately after this this book i got for will smith i got it a while back and uh, i think i've had it like the entire year <laughs> yeah like oh my god and it's something that um starting like i'm enjoying I, I enjoyed it like i said remember how it was when i started reading it i'm somewhere in the middle and i feel like i need to continue reading it and uh, on one of the videos i think i'll be able to share with you very soon about um things that can help you read if you're lazy in reading or maybe you find it very very hard to read a book like this like you struggle with reading i'll share with you some tips that will be able to help you in my one of these videos coming ahead these two books are the ones that i'm just looking at finishing by end of the year like i'm hoping the last video i'll be shooting this year I'll be able to tell you guys that I finished reading these books and I'll tell you what this book is about and I'll also tell you what I learned from this book here. Yeah. So this is going to bring us to our next chapter. <laughs> Not chapter, but yeah. And I'm going to share with you some of the things that I noted down where, I mean, some of the benefits of reading a book like when I get to read a book like this or maybe I get to read a book like this and understand why they used to tell us to read books back in high school. And by the way, <laughs> there's a set book in high school that I never finished at all, but I sat for that exam. And uh, when you're watching this, if you're in school, Tafadali, please read your set books. Like, yeah, please read your set books. <laughs> Don't be like me. Yeah, when I was back in high school, there's a book I didn't finish. I can't remember which, imagine I can't even remember the name. Yeah, that's how bad I was back then. So yeah, so it's important to read. And one of the benefits is that your writing skills becomes better, especially in my industry. Like, of course, you get to write a lot of stuff. And even when these days, I think everyone writes because even when you have a picture you're posting on Instagram, you're posting on Facebook, you need to write a nice caption. The more you read, the more your vocabulary improves. So it's good to read. Like your writing skills will be way, way better. Yeah. So if you're someone like me, maybe you're a journalist somewhere, you're planning to do, to report stuff, you're planning, maybe you're planning to have a blog where you can write stories, you need to read, 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 read. And then something else that reading helps with is that it reduces stress. Because you see, the moment I pick this book like this, let me say Will Smith book. So the moment I pick this Will book like this, and I'm concentrating, like I'm, I'm reading it. Of course, I won't be thinking about some, any other thing. Like I won't be thinking of any other thing. I'll just be concentrating on the book. Like in terms of, if it's a, an entertainment book, I will just be laughing and, you know, just forgetting, living, concentrating in that moment and enjoying that moment. And you'll forget about whatever is stressing you. So reading this book, it will definitely help you reduce the stress. And it can also entertain you. Like, of course, when I'm reading this book, there's some jokes. Of course, I laugh at those jokes. Like, it's fun. Like, it's entertaining there are many other books that are entertaining out here yes so also when you're reading a book you get to learn a lot like you expand your knowledge like you build your knowledge like you build you keep building that brain you see the way um when you're doing like let's say a youtube channel like this you keep giving 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 information like for me i give give information and there's some of and there's some 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 of the information i give are from the books that i read are from the maybe music that i listen to are from my life of course and different other things so the more you read the more you learn and the more information you give the more you need to feed that brain so when you read you get to learn a lot and uh, that is like even not the book the different books for example this one i don't know if it's entertaining i don't know if it's um it's like someone's story a celebration of a girl of a of girls who dare to dream ah mm, this is interesting definitely this one i'm finishing before the year ends but yeah like there are books that you read and you get to learn a lot let me use an example yes the book that i read i think it was last year or last year but one I think it's last year um the smart money woman so that book i read and when i read it i was able to just you know like learn a lot when it comes to financial issues and how to relate with your money and that is not the only book that i've read about money or maybe something that has, I, I like a book that i've read and learned something from there's also a book that i read called 100 rules to life 
yes i think by richard tembler and i remember that book the first rule there was keep it under your heart like uh, when you're planning for something don't go shouting out then telling everyone you know i'm actually planning to buy a house da, da, da. do it fast just do it fast and especially in the world that we live in you never know who's listening to what you're saying and people are jealous out here by the way guys like jealousy is jina kwanga ugonjwa gani like as in yani there's just something so please some things it's better off you keep it under your heart and i think there's a day i read somewhere that even if you have a best friend always learn how to keep some things to yourself like don't say everything you know like just keep something doesn't make you a bad person but just know what to share and what not to share it's good for you you're not being mean no 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 just the things that you just need to keep like gk like i think the older i get the more i get to learn about that like the things that you're just better off keeping you know yeah gk too so yeah so what was i talking about again um yeah so the smart money woman book that one was so good and uh, i learned a lot about financial stuff another benefit of reading books is that you get to have stronger analytical thinking skills like you you get that in the process of when you're reading a book and then of course you can't see these people so you're just trying to imagine how they look like you're trying to imagine um maybe did they have short hair did they not have short hair you're trying to imagine like you create everything like you you know like you just try and build stuff and even remember again giving example with the, um when i was doing when i was reading uh the smart money woman that time and uh, that time there was no movie on netflix they, there's a time they they did the movie of smart money woman and it was on netflix so i watched the movie later on and then i read the book of course way before the movie was even done so i remember when i was reading the book i could picture these chicks like this squad you know these nigerian women going for fun wearing this and that but now when the movie came of course the way i pictured it is not the way i was seeing it in the movie you get like now it's these are now their faces this is it you know so i didn't get to really really think deeper and even that is just one way of looking at this analytical thinking there's also another way whereby now you get to ask yourself what really happened at that particular time like could they have done this could they have you know like you start giving them ways on how to handle stuff and it helps you a lot when it comes to problem solving the more you read and you have that analytical thinking you know there's a way you gain that skill and then there's a way you'll be able to solve problems and real life problems like even at work so it helps you a lot the more you read books the more you get to build that so it's something i would definitely recommend someone to do like grab a book read it like you know and baby step manze i think i'll get on that video that i said i was gonna talk about on how the tips of how to when you're struggling with reading books i'll get to talk to you guys about step by step on how you can do it and this is something that i'm going to apply from this week like i started jana and i'll be applying it like in my life when it comes to reading this book so that i can meet this goal of reading these two books by end of the year like at least just finishing these ones you know from now to december yeah when you read books you get to develop your imagination and creativity you get like you will imagine how things are and i think i even said it in my previous point of when you're trying to analyze stuff when i was reading smart money woman and i was trying to just put the picture like imagine this is how they are looking like imagining how nigerian functions look like imagining how they dress up like you become more creative in your thinking and it helps you especially if you're a creative person out there like you you know you're in this industry of ours where we do production we shoot stuff like i feel like reading books helps you a lot like it's something you need to do because you become more creative especially in this creative industry you know you need to read books like just try at a company page moja in a day do something like just read 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 and um, also uh last my last point is going to be <laughs> i think i've been saying last last but anyway when you read books you get to improve on your concentration if you're that kind of person you usually don't concentrate on stuff the more you read books the more you'll start how to you'll be able to concentrate in one thing and then finish it like as in it's going to improve your concentration is it percentage yeah <laughs> like you'll be able to learn how to concentrate more on things and finish them than just doing it for the sake and you know yeah so i think that's very very important and uh, 
if you're watching this and you're not into reading books and you're, you're a creative person or maybe you just i don't know what you are but just try it doesn't have to be creative books are not meant for just creative people alone it's meant for everyone just try because there's a lot that you can gain from reading books and i remember reading books also make your speaking becomes easier especially english like how you speak because you'll be reading books in english let's say and uh, you'll be thinking in english right and when it comes to speaking you'll be able to speak also well you get like it's something that help you it helps you to polish your you know your grammar your words like your you know like you get what i'm saying like just read more books and i feel like sometimes when i don't read i become so rusty oh my god like i feel it by the way i feel it when i'm talking i feel like the less i read the more rustier i become in speaking like and i think reading books is also like when you're learning a new language you'll be told buy books and read because the more you read the more you start yeah like you get my point good people so anyway thank you so much for watching we've gotten to the end of this video if you like it thumbs up and guys remember my goal is to reach 5,000 subscribers before end of the year so if you've gotten here and you haven't subscribed to my channel please 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 do so by pressing on this amazing lady popping up here and until next time good people kisses to you